New at five, a little dog lost to the jaws of a crocodile in a satellite beach canal on Monday. As News 6's James Barbero tells us, the rare reptiles have made their way this far north of their usual habitat before, but this is the first time some neighbors have seen a croc attacking a pet. This is the first time I've heard of a crocodile grabbing a dog. And Robert Pettit, who lives on the Grand Canal, says he's now heartbroken for the dog owner. Another neighbor, Eric Sade, says he recorded the little dog in the croc's mouth. As graphic as that video is, we're choosing not to broadcast it. You think crocodile, like, that's pretty scary. It could eat animals or people. So when I saw it had a dog, I was like, all right, everyone's fear just came true. The dog owner also lives on the water, and he says his pug was in the backyard for just five minutes before the pet disappeared. Oh my gosh. In 2019, neighbors recorded this American crocodile in another satellite beach canal, and as recently as May, satellite beach police say the FWC relocated this croc that found its way onto someone's driveway. The state's wildlife authority says sightings have increased in recent years, in part because the crocodile population is growing. A map from the state shows Brevard County is now the northern extent of their range. We really don't know uh, much about these crocs. They haven't really been, uh, been around people. The FWC says crocs are shy and reclusive around people, but pets should be kept on a leash and away from the water. A news release reads the FWC searched for the croc and the missing dog, but didn't find them. It's just been a terrible story, and my heart goes out the loss of his dog. I just know it just has to be very uh, difficult for them. In Satellite Beach, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.